to Jay-Z Central. What's up guys, I'm going to be doing a video today, uh, <clears throat> I haven't done a video in a while, I'm going to be doing a super update video, um, got my uh, Boost Logic 4 inch exhaust here, Things called the Omega, it's the cheapest one which is still like $1000 but you know, it's uh, looks like it's, it's pretty nice, um, I mean it's freaking huge, uh, a lot bigger than any other exhaust I've seen on the car, it's almost like a diesel truck exhaust, um, you know, it just has one muffler right there. And then I got a 4 inch downpipe from uh, eBay. The 4 inch downpipes are usually really expensive. This one is pretty cheap. We'll see how the fitment is. Um, I have to get the V band flange modified. This one's 4.5 OD, whereas this flange is 4.75. And it's also, this is a machine flange, whereas this is a, uh, I forget what it's called, formed V band flange, something like that. Bulge formed, I think is what it's called. So I have to get one or the other cut off to match that to bolt up and also the flange is made for a GT45 turbo which is different from my precision turbo so I have to get that modified but at the end of the day I'll have a full 4 inch exhaust which should be pretty nifty so I took my wiring harness out now it's not my engine wiring harness but the engine bay wiring harness I um, put it in this flexible um, it's, it's like hose stuff, flexible covering. It's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look the best, but it's the really the purpose of it. You're not even going to see it. I'm going to tuck the harness so you can't see it, and I'm going to extend my fuse box into my trunk and get rid of a bunch of connections that I don't need to uh, clean up the engine bay even more. Because um, this is all hard-formed, kind of plastic. It fits kind of like behind the headlights, whereas I'm going to tuck it and get rid of it. going to be uh, bleeding the brakes on the super getter ready to roll into the garage it's raining out so you know it's just awesome taking some pictures uh so yeah let's let's bleed the brakes let's try to push her in the garage hopefully it doesn't go down my hill but we're gonna block it with the is 300 it's making a a uh, a roadblock so i think it's fine so uh gotta extend this all these wires there's uh 37 wires I'm gonna extend my fuse box to the trunk. I'm gonna be extending it uh, 15 feet. Um, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna wrap it in this stuff. My uh, friend here uh, suggested a place to go to get all the wiring. So I'm gonna see how it goes. Let's go drop some money on. I don't even. What's 15 times 40? That's like 600 feet of wire. Yeah. So I uh, yeah, about to go get 600 feet of wire. Let's go. Some wiring. Uh, for the super, I'm gonna extend the wiring harness. Go for that tuck look. It's nice and clean, you know. Like when you go to work, you tuck your shirt in, you feel nice and clean. You feel good. That's kind of like an engine bay and super, you know. You tuck the wiring harness, it looks nice. Alright, guys, so we went to a couple um, stores to see if we could get some wiring, but none of them really had the. Uh, caliber of wiring I'm looking for obviously is like like I said there's 37 wires so I need a lot of uh, different colors and different designs to make it all match um, I want to make it match because I have to put the um, I can't feed the uh, fuse box through any holes or anything I pretty much have to cut it and put the fuse box in the back and run each wire so obviously it'd be a lot less confusing if I um, you know if I retain the, the factory colors and whatnot um, but anyways, we uh, we have since we bled the brakes and like I said, we went out looked for wiring. We unsuccessful. I'll order it online. And we also got the car inside the garage for the winter, so pretty excited about that. I can finally work on it. You know, not in the freezing cold or rain. I'll also be ordering online. I'm gonna be uh, ordering, like I said, the wires and then the uh, downpipe, which is over here. I got an eBay downpipe. And so I'm going to have to order the flanges for that, bring it to some exhaust shop, get that welded on, get the exhaust all mounted up. 
and the turbo as you guys can see has some rust on it um, now when I ordered the turbo kit I really I should have done more research on I'll admit um, it's it's a good turbo kit street torque kit but it's not really what I'm looking for it's a uh, general bearing turbo and you know it's, it's a good turbo but I'm looking to really uh, maximize my spool get a fast spooling turbo for the street um, I plan on running pump gas so I want to you know get the most out of that um, so what I'm gonna do what I've kind of decided to do is order a new manifold two and a new turbo um, and sell off it's not a big deal because I can sell the turbo the manifold for pretty good price since they're practically brand new um, but as of now it has a cast manifold on it which you know they're good they're strong dependable but um, you're not really uh, it's not the max potential you know what you can do today with turbos I'm gonna go with the uh, twin scroll system um, which is a tubular design manifold uh, maybe even twin wastegate to make it a real twin scroll system um, and get a divided turbo so it's gonna be a true uh, twin scroll turbo and a ball bearing turbo as well so that should give me a little bit more boost uh, especially in the early RPM range which is really what I'm looking for I'm looking with this build I'm looking to uh, run pump gas um, because I'm looking to have a car where I can actually drive it I don't have to stress out about race fuel or E85 we don't really have E85 around here so I wanna you know get the most out of it with pump gas um, and to me a big part of that of having a Supra with a turbo on it is you know not having a ton of lag and whatnot just having a fast spooling streetable Supra that you can drive in the street so I'll probably be ordering a new turbo this is a 6266 which is a good size turbo they're known for spooling pretty fast so I'll probably stay 6266 but I'll get divided um, like I said with a new manifold so uh, that's pretty much what I'm thinking right now um, for the Supra new turbo manifold get the exhaust straightened out get the wiring harness straightened out all that and then after that I'll you know start dealing with the fuel system the oil catch can intercooler radio uh, radiator you know all that stuff so uh, yeah uh, make sure you guys are subscribed because I got a lot of stuff coming your way uh, I'm gonna set up a little shop in here with some lights some uh, little portable heater get this thing going for the winter um, so make sure you subscribe like the video comment with any questions and follow me on Instagram too. one wicked Supra same name uh, to get more you know live updates uh, yeah thanks for watching